So you know how I said certain configurations of the 21.5 inch iMac were out of stock? Well now they've been discontinued and they've disappeared from the site altogether. And so that leads me to believe that Apple is possibly teasing us of an imminent launch of the new Apple Silicon iMac. And so let's delve into that alongside my theories on the release strategy that Apple might take for the Apple Silicon iMac lineup and also maybe some potential tidbits on the M1X and the performance it could offer. And so without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so let's delve into the mysterious disappearance of the 21.5 inch iMac. So I reported a while back that the 512 gigabyte and one terabyte SSD options on the 21.5 inch iMac were out of stock. And this was the case for a few weeks, which kind of gave me the inkling that an Apple Silicon iMac is launching pretty soon. And now my theory has been validated because Apple's gone ahead and discontinued both storage options pretty silently. And so yes, if you're thinking of buying the smaller iMac, you only have the option between a 256 gig SSD and a one terabyte fusion drive. Why does that still exist in 2021? I have no clue, but do not buy that. And clearly, since Apple is restricting the amount of options you can get, it does very much seem like they're trying to put you off from buying the small iMac as a way of saying that, hey, a new one is coming very soon. Just wait, do not buy. Although, some people have also said that because Timothy is a supply chain king and always maximizes the resources they have, and so maybe they discontinued these storage options purely because no one is buying them, and especially during COVID and supply chain shortages, it makes sense that Apple restricts the amount of options and gets rid of any unnecessary upgrades. Now, yes, that does totally make a lot of sense, but that's not the fun answer. So I'm not going to agree with that. I'm still going to think that a new iMac is on the way. And especially since the China Times does believe this. And of course, John Prosser has said that an iMac is allegedly ready to ship and could be launching way sooner than we think. I think it's very likely that we could see an iMac in spring and I am undoubtedly very excited. Oh, and how can I forget, we also have that crash log from Xcode that literally mentions that someone was using an Apple Silicon iMac that hasn't been announced. And so clearly some engineer over at Apple is using a production ready iMac. And so that's sort of some confirmation that an iMac is coming very soon. Now, one question I've seen a lot of you ask is, are we going to see both sizes debut in spring? And to that, I say I don't think so, because if you take a look at the 27-inch model, it's pretty much available with all the default storage options. And so that leads me to believe that Apple isn't planning to replace that 27-inch model anytime soon. Especially since the last Intel refresh we saw was to the 27 inch iMac. Apple didn't update the smaller 21.5 inch size, but they did update the bigger size. And so that leads me to believe we'll see a staggered release with, of course, the 24 inch size launching in spring and then maybe the 32 inch size launching at the end of the year. Actually, Mark Gurman did say a while back that the iMacs are scheduled to release at the end of the year. And while I don't agree with that completely, I do think that is partly true because I can see the more powerful iMacs launching alongside the Mac Pro at some sort of October event. But with the slow demise of the 21.5 inch iMac, I'm inclined to believe it's getting replaced pretty soon. And Minshiko did say that initially a 24 inch iMac was scheduled to release at the end of 2020. And so at one point in time, it was pretty close to launching at the end of last year. And so that pretty much tells me that we could see this as early as of course spring. 
So basically on the whole, my prediction is we see the 24 inch M1 base model and of course the higher end M1X models launch in spring and then of course the 32 inch higher end iMac with M2 could launch at the end of the year. And finally, why don't we end this video with some details on the M1X and the performance we could expect with it in the new IMAX. So Maguire Woods gave us a few tidbits on the M1X on Twitter and basically said the 16 inch MacBook Pro and the iMac could feature the chip, but because of the lack of restrictions you get with an iMac, you should be getting a slightly better version of the M1X. So Maguire Woods describes the chip as Apple wanting to, of course, introduce true pro levels of performance in their systems. So clearly, this is going to be an absolute beast. And as we've seen in some leaked benchmarks, it should be nearly 100% better than the M1, which is kind of hard to believe since the M1 in itself is a pretty amazing chip as it is. And so, of course, this is pretty much gonna blow away the competition. And so basically, I think that Apple's gonna have three tiers of chips, M1 for the entry-level models, M1X for the professionals, and then M2 for the hardcore users that absolutely need as much performance as they can get. So basically, people buying the Mac Pro and of course, higher-end versions of the iMac. But anyways, Maguire Wood says that because of the better thermal management, the boxier body, the more efficient space usage, and the better cooling, you should basically get better sustained performance on the iMac over the 16-inch MacBook Pro. And to be honest, that is to be expected because the iMacs have always been better value than the MacBook Pros when it comes to power per dollar because, of course, the iMacs aren't restricted by a battery. They also have a much bigger body, which allows for a better thermal system. And so overall, you're getting much better performance in the iMac that shouldn't thermal throttle. However, because the 16-inch MacBook Pro is a portable laptop, you obviously have some size limitations, and so performance will be slightly worse with the M1X on the 16-inch MacBook Pro. Maguire also goes on to say that the boost clocks should be higher with the iMac, so basically, if you're looking to do more intensive stuff over a long period of time, you're probably going to get the most performance for your money out of the new iMacs. But tell me in the comments below, do you prefer having a MacBook or an iMac? Because personally, I never really leave the house and so I would appreciate having the extra performance you get with the iMac over the MacBook Pro. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the iCard above about the iPad Pro getting Touch ID this year. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.